Yo, Leo. That's what it is. What's up? Hi, Leo. Hi, guys. <laughs> That's it. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. I sometimes I like take a minute. Like I just took like a couple hours. I'm like, you know, I wanted to film for y'all earlier. But I was like, let me take a break. Let me shut my eyes, you know? And I'm back and I got the, the goofy Leo energy, the energy that y'all need and the energy that you guys put out all the time. That's why I don't be coming to certain signs crazy. Certain signs, they come at you crazy. So you got to come back at them. But I feel like, Neil, sometimes y'all try me, but lately I haven't been. So I'm not even going to bother with the intro. I just feel like y'all already know me. And if you don't know, you already know what it is. Don't come with the bullshit. I'm not the one. I'll send it back your way. I will do it. Okay. I will change your life. All right. So hi, you guys. Remember to give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. You already know the deal. You already know the deal. That's it. You subscribe if you've been thinking about doing it. Comment if you got something nice to say. You know what I mean? Um, what else? Like the video if you want to see more content like this, period. Okay. It's that simple. All right, my Leo loves. This is your, um, you got to, oh, wait, by the way, you guys have an extended reading. I'm hearing this is your extended reading. So you guys have one. It's on the Vimeo. The link is right at the top. We'll get to it at the end. Watch the full reading. So let's get into it. This is your love and romance reading for your soulmate to infant connections. Okay. So it's a high vibrational love reading. So it doesn't matter what your situation is. It should really resonate. I just feel like a lot of you guys need to get the big picture, right? That's what it is. All right. So boom. let's have a look at what's going on right now. It's, it's for March, but it's like whenever I come back is when I come back and it really, you just got to let it play out, vibe, flow with life, you know, don't be so hooked on dates and stuff. And I feel like that's something that it's like, it's really hard for you to understand because that makes it hard for you to stand your ground and to recognize things about your connection because you might kind of have like the timing thing or even this person, they might really be obsessed with time, but they're learning about why time when it comes to this connection is not really important. It hasn't really been a factor. And it's because that's what was disempowering this person. So they're learning a heavy spiritual lesson when it comes to any and all delays that you guys have when it comes to time, or when it comes to just certain rules and authority, I'm hearing organization, they're needing to break out of that anyways. So that's why they're going through what they're going through, or that's why this connection, I'm hearing you're going through what you're going through. You have certain beliefs that it's like they created those beliefs because they didn't want you to have it. You know what I mean? So you could get rid of those beliefs. It's not really valid. They just didn't want you to have it. That's why they said that you shouldn't do it. So I feel like you know what this is already. All you, I'm hearing Virgos. <coughs> you already know what this is. What this person is struggling with. It's cultural. It's also spiritual, but it's also, I'm hearing racial. Some of you guys, ethnic. And it's like, you guys are going to crash through those silly boundaries. I feel like you have been crashing through those barriers. And that's just what's happening. Okay. That's, I feel like if you've been wondering about the delay or why this connection went the way that it went, even though it's a perfect connection is what I'm hearing. Because there's just certain things that you guys have to understand about society as a whole and how it's affecting you yourselves. And so, and so did this person, how it's affecting they themselves. And that is what's making the connect. That's what it's just making it more beautiful. The love is coming out more. And I feel like that's an intention that your person, they have this intention for you. They're very strongly attracted to you. They cannot deny the passion that they have for you. <laughs> you know, this person, they have um, so much that they want to give you. And there's, there's so much that they want to talk about. There's so much that they want to share with you. They have so much passion, desire, energy. You know, this connection has given them a new lease on life. You know, it doesn't matter how long ago you guys have met, you know, this person, they have a, they have horsepower is what I'm seeing, essentially. They have, they have like, it's like essentially getting somebody who's like revved up and it's like, it, you know, this is someone who they're facing a lot of things right now in their life that in the past, it really would have wrecked them and they would have stopped. You know what I mean? But they just kept going because of this connection inspires them to keep going. You don't understand. That's how important you are to them. And it's like, I feel like Leo, if you don't feel that way, you've been around too many haters, but you already know this, okay? I feel like, you know, whatever, we'll talk more about, about, more about it on the extended. You already know, I, that's what it is, all right? Because I feel like you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, then you're gonna know what it is. And that's why the connection was the way that it was, or the certain people were showing up the way that it was. But I also feel like this was all for you and for this person to get strength to love thyself. And so this love and this connection has grown so much, but it was always there. And this was love that this person would never let themselves experience or express before this. Like, this is somebody who they totally keep their feelings beneath the surface. And I feel like even if you can tell that they're feeling certain things and when they try to hide it, there's so much more that they're hiding underneath what they're trying to hide. 
Is this someone who is very intrinsic, very internal, internalized? So their passion is underneath, but it's always been there. I just feel like you're recognizing things about them or they're opening up to you in a way that you were like, wow, but that's always been them. I just feel like this person, they never knew how to express that or they never felt comfortable doing it, but they were just happy to just feel it. <clears throat> and if you want to share it, then fine. But if you didn't want to be with them in that way, that would be fine for them too. They realized that they would have been with you in any way, but at the same time, they know that they need to recognize certain things about themselves that they need. But this is a connection that they're not willing to let go of, you know? And I'm hearing like, there's the reason why this person is realizing this after all these other people that they were with, that they did it for this, for like, for like lesser reasons I'm hearing because some of you guys, maybe things happen, I don't know. And the reason why they're like this with you is because they recognize that you're the first person that they've ever dated or they were with that. It didn't matter what you did, like they could always forgive it. And they realized that it was just expanding their capacity to love even themselves. So that that was actually a good thing. And I feel like you guys didn't take advantage of this person. Like you guys didn't take advantage of their good heart and they realized that there was many chances for you to do this, that you didn't do it. And they realized that you were worthy of their heart. So this person, they're opening up to you. This person is very open. I'm seeing like a lot of stuff go on in my in my mind's eye. And it's, it's positive stuff, but it's also very expressive of someone being very intimate with you. So I feel like this person, their intimacy is, in, they're showing, they're showing up they're gonna be so much more intimate with you. And that's what they're thinking about doing right now. That's the energy right now for the connection. You guys are becoming much more intimate when, with one another in thoughts, in action, in the things that you guys do for each other. You're just, and it's like, if, I feel like you guys do things for one another and you don't tell each other that you're doing it, but you know that the other person would appreciate it and they were hoping for that. And then you do it. And I feel like there's things that you can do for them that nobody else can do for them is what I'm hearing. But I feel like, yes, there are, yeah. But also there's things that they can do for you that nobody else can do for you. And that they be doing for you because they just feel it. And I feel like they're feeling that energy is back, coming back. So if you took an action or you've been doing stuff for them, that's really sweet, really kind, really thought provoking is what I'm hearing. I feel like this person, they feel like you're doing stuff, but they want you to reach out, but they, they realize that you're not going to reach out about this <laughs> and they understand why you wouldn't. <clears throat> But they know that you've done something really amazing for them and really kind and really sweet. And I'm hearing they want to repay it in kind. So they're taking action um, to bring about something for this connection and for you that you're going to love so much. But I feel like it's something that it's really hard for you to come towards it and to have it because there's certain things that you have to confront that you don't really confront on your own that easily. Okay. And they're doing it for you. This person, they're defending you and they protect you a lot. I'm hearing protection magic. So this person, if they're magical, some people are magical and it's in their cells, okay? Most magicians, it's cellular, it's natural, it's in your body, okay? It's natural, it's, it's very natural. And if this person, if they're like that naturally, they send protection your way, you know what I mean? I feel like there's been a lot of, I'm hearing close calls and this person, they're the reason why it went because they sent you mad energy to protect you. And I feel like you felt it at certain points you might've realized like, and I feel like you might've realized that it is increased. Like your protection, I'm hearing material stability is increased. And it's because this person, that's what they're wishing for you. They're sending you that energy because they can do that. So you don't have to worry about it. You're good. <laughs> Whatever you have right now, it's just going to keep going up, hon. That's it. Because they want it for you. You're with somebody who wants it for you for the first time in forever. When you guys put that out, I feel like, <clears throat> hold on. We have to go back in time because we have to go back in the day when Leo was on the playground and y'all was in play school or preschool and y'all was running around with the, at, at the jungle gym, with, you know, with the monkey bars and y'all had everybody's back. You know what I mean? Y'all, you guys were this type of, that's how you guys love naturally. You guys have the biggest freaking hearts ever. And I feel like you just have somebody who has the same feelings for you and you never really had that and vice versa. This, this person has a big ass heart too. I'm hearing their heart hurts. That's how big it is. You know what I mean? But you know, it's not a medical thing but they have a big ass heart too. <clears throat> and you deserve this sort of energy, this sort of person, because that's who you are deep down at the core. And that's what a lot, most of you guys put out, even if it's not at the core, you'd be having the people that you love their back. You don't really be going behind their back. Leos are fiercely loyal. I can say a lot of things about y'all. And I already said it before a couple of times, don't make me compliment y'all again, because y'all be mad at me. <laughs> I was like, I was like, but I'm letting you guys out. Like you guys have some big ass hearts. Like, and I'm going to let you know a lot of y'all got get under my skin. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all definitely do. And y'all definitely have. It's like a it's like a life path thing. You know, I've accepted it. And once I did, I let in the love of my life. And you know, he's a Leo. I said, God, are you playing a joke on me right now? <laughs> I was like, why? 
why Virgo was right there? Why didn't you just do it? And they were like, listen, baby, you didn't want Virgo. I know you thought you did, but you didn't want the Virgo. You wanted Leo. And your God was right. You know what I'm saying? Well, Jesus, he doesn't do it wrong. He never does. He really never does. You know what I mean? It's really never wrong. And that's what I'm trying to say. The way that y'all love, I feel like it got taken advantage of. So y'all became savages. It became, so y'all became, you know, y'all started holding on to certain things and y'all felt type of way, but y'all didn't really want to, you know, so, so then certain things started happening. And so it started, you started shutting down on your love, holding it back on certain people. And then they started projecting onto you, like how you see they do to me every day. You know what I mean? They started projecting it onto you because they couldn't get your love no more for free. And it was she in strength and power that was going to mash them up and mash the whole thing up if they came for you again. And so that's why a lot of people, they said that you was mean. And I feel like this person, they never saw you as mean because they knew why you was mean. If you was mean, they knew that you were probably mean because it was really valid. Okay. And you was probably, you know, um, guarded, I'm hearing, because it was really valid. You know, people was really coming for your stuff. And they saw that and they had your back because this person, that's what they went through too. All right. Like I'm feeling an energy of somebody who they, you know, like they get it. <laughs> so if that's what's showing up, that's, you're just getting, this is something that y'all always deserved, but I feel like it's not even deserved. It's like, this is what you guys have been manifesting this whole time. And the universe just gave it to you, but it didn't give it to Tom, Dick or Harry who, who they were manifesting it. Right. But somehow they didn't get it. They gave it to you because you actually have it in your heart to accept this and receive this. I feel like whoever this person is, they, they, you know, they've seen a lot of lack of love. They've seen a lot, I'm hearing miss love. So they've seen a lot of, you know, not having love or love that's like sick. You know what I mean? And so they know that your love is pure. So that's why you, I'm hearing you have such a faithful, this person is so faithful and loyal, like so faithful and loyal. And they're never gonna, and the reason why you have, and I feel like you're like, but this person is so this way, in that way, they're so gifted, they're so beautiful, they're so, and yes, you do deserve this. Yes, it's still, it's still not something that's gonna pass you by just because you deserve this type of person. This is real, this is real. And if you don't think it's real yet, just wait, just wait on it. You're gonna see it's real. They love you and that's what you deserve because your heart is that big. You just had a lot of haters that they knew that your heart was that big and that's why they, that's why they tied you down. Cause they knew your heart was that big and you was going to get, you was going to hit, win it big. You was going to land the, the jackpot or whatever you guys want to call it. And they saw you doing it and they didn't want you to have it. That's always what it is. They just don't want you to have it. Okay. Always remember that whenever you want to stop going, the people who keep telling you to stop going, it's because they don't want you to have it. Okay. The answer, the universe never stops. When does the universe, does the earth go back? When does the earth go back? I mean, was it ever documented? I mean, it does. I mean, we do have retrograde. We do have retrograde, right? But I don't know, does earth go retrograde? Does time go retrograde or does it, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes time does go retrograde. There's a lot of things we don't acknowledge. But I feel like in this situation, if they ever want you to stop going, then, and it's somebody outside of you, it's because they don't want you to have it. And sometimes it's because it's toxic, but most times it's because it's good for you and they don't, they know that they could have it. I'm just letting you guys know. I'm getting you guys into the head of people who are not like you, okay? People who are not positive, people who are haters, you know? As a Scorpio, I got a lot of Scorpio on my chart. I see, and I air sign, mm -hmm, water and air, I see right through people's intentions and their motives. And that's why I feel like a lot of fire signs, y'all don't get that because y'all y'all just come with your positive momentum or y'all come with your negative momentum. And that's just what it is. And I feel like y'all come to love with positive momentum. And, and a lot of times you can't understand why you're met with that. But it's a lot of times it's just, they're just jealous. They're, they just, even if you, it's somebody that you're dating, they know that they couldn't even suffice. Yeah, <laughs> They know that they don't suffice and it makes them upset. They're just jealous. All right. So this week you're reconnecting with this person. You guys are emotionally reconnecting. You're also having a reunion of hearts. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so this is happening in whichever way you want it to happen. It can also be happening physically. That's what you've been wanting. But I feel like there's a way that you haven't been noticing or this, pers this person hasn't been noticing um, a connection that you guys are going to be noticing it this, this week. A way that you guys connect in a way that you never, I feel like I'm hearing too ashamed to like let it in or they're saying look it up, you know? So there's something about you guys getting closer and deeper and, and, and doing stuff together that it's like you, and maybe in the past you would have regretted, or maybe in the past you regretted not doing with them. You know, I feel like some of you guys, this person, they brought this up 
And I feel like the, this is like something that only you guys would know about. Some of you guys, it's really that broad. But some of you guys, it's like, actually, I'm not fully do, doing it justice. And I know I'm not. I know I'm not. And I can't do that on this platform. <laughs> I can't do certain things. Y'all be wanting to take it all the way to R, R and XXX. And that's not what it is, okay? Stop. Y'all got too much with that Queen of Wands energy and y'all take it too far. And that's the problem, Leo. Stop, okay? Yes, it's gonna happen. No, we're not gonna talk about that on this platform. <laughs> we'll talk about that on the extended. <laughs> All right, if you know what it is, but if you don't know and you don't feel guided, don't come to the extended. If you don't feel guided, don't come. It's not that I don't love you. It's not that I don't like you. It's just that that's how it's set up. Please don't bother me. I'm begging you. All right, so you guys are reconnecting in a way that I feel like it was always there, but that's how y'all played yourselves. <laughs> that's how y'all played yourselves, but now you're getting an opportunity to, to take it up because it was always there, but y'all played yourselves. And that's what that was the problem. And this person's recognizing how they played themselves. I feel like if you're like, but they did, they, they know, they know, they know. <laughs> All right, so right now this person, they're focused on coming out of the cold. I feel like whatever your connection is going through right now, they're defending it. <laughs> they're understanding now and they're standing by the times in which you guys have had lack. And I feel like if you guys are currently going through a lackful time, they're actually enjoying it. And I feel like they're now, they're not paranoid about it because they know that it's coming out. <clears throat> they're getting all the signs and synchronicities that's telling them that this is going to happen. This person, they felt like they were not good enough for this or this was not really happening to them. That's what it is. This person, they felt like they're, it's like, please believe it or not. They felt like this cannot actually be happening. So it's like in a way they shut themselves out from it happening and they, <clears throat> They went out in the cold. I also feel like this person, they might be certain people shutting this person out because of this connection, but they don't care. So if you're wondering about people shutting them out or them being alone, they don't care. I'm hearing they like being alone. <laughs> they like being alone from these people. So they like being alone from these people. So they don't even care that they're not with these people. But I feel like you guys, and also some of you guys, <clears throat> if you if this person is shut out from you, they're surrendering to it. And in fact, they're defending it. They're still seeing the long-term in this. I don't, you guys could commit anything you wanted and this person would still be like right behind you. Uh-huh, hey, uh -huh. Then that kind of partner, <laughs> that's the kind of person you guys, but you guys, that's how loyal you are. Cause I feel like you never had that loyalty back. You never did. And I feel like some of you guys had friends that they wanted to be that loyal, but I feel like just because of <clears throat> who they were and what they were going through in their life, they couldn't have been that loyal. Cause I feel like some of you guys, you felt like you had friends that, that weren't as loyal and you knew them longer or whatever, or you felt like there was a friend that you knew that they could have been that loyal. That friend, they could have been, but I'm hearing if you, <clears throat> In time, now you're understanding why that friend could not have been that person for you. And it's because this person that you're connecting with now, your divine feminine, your divine masculine, that's who they're gonna be. And that was the that was the slot I'm hearing for them. Okay, because some of you guys, you had an emotional loss and now you're understanding um, how it's caused it, how it stopped you guys from being able to really give to each other. Like I feel like you weren't able to give to this connection before um, you had this loss, you know? And now that you did. Now you're able to give to it what it deserves. Give this person what they deserve. They weren't able to get what they deserved. And I feel like what the main thing was secrecy. This person, <clears throat> they wanted you to keep this connection a secret. You know? This person, they wanted you to hide certain things about this connection. And this could have been the person from the past or it could have been a friend that, you know, you feel like you used to have support from and they don't, they're not there. But I feel like you guys wanted to get away from this person. And the reason why you wanted to get away from this friend was because you knew somehow, but like you couldn't tell why you knew or how you knew that this friend was really like toxic and they, they secretly didn't want it for you, you know? And it, and it really would have broken your heart if you would have found out in another way. So that's why, it, you, that's why it went the way that it went. And I feel like you already know what this is. You already know what this is, you know? And it's for, it's for the best. It's for your connection, your connection to you and to your person is way more important than anybody else. That's the kind of relationship where it's worth moving around certain things because the two of y'all, that's what y'all want, you know, and your your children, your future children want this, you know, your family wants this. So it's fine to, you know, move. Cause I feel like some things, there were some dated events, but I'm hearing it was payback though. Cause I feel like whoever this person was in your life, I'm hearing this toxic karmic, whoever they were in your life, they were very toxic. And I feel like they were very debilitating to this connection and they worked tirelessly to stop it. 
<laughs> they work tirelessly every day to stop this connection. <laughs> you know, I feel like you might have had some of you guys. This is like resembling an old friend situation where you had a group of friends and there's somebody who came through in the middle and they infiltrated and stopped a friendship that you could have had that was very, that was destined for you. I feel like you guys are still destined to be friends. It's a queen of cups. I'm hearing some water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but for some of you guys, it's also an air sign, but they have both in their chart. I'm hearing they're very spiritual. You know who this is. Immediately, you know who this is. They infiltrated, you had a third party infiltrate the connection of that you had with the friend <clears throat> because they saw how close the connection was, but that, that third party that infiltrated, they also saw your weak points. And I'm hearing that would have been the type of person, they would have been that insidious in your connection. You know what I mean? You know who I'm talking about. You know what it is I'm talking about. And if you don't know, then it's not for you. And I feel like you might've had a friendship where you were friends with somebody and whatever, and I'm hearing they're a different nationality and that's it. And I'm hearing you live with them. And then somebody else came along, came into the friend group, and all of a sudden you guys started having really serious problems. But you guys always didn't really get along, but it was more so that both of you guys were powerful and strong, and y'all would just disagree, disagree, but y'all would agree to disagree a lot. Y'all would just be like, all right, you know what, that's how you feel, that's how I feel, and that's what it is, you know? But y'all would just be like, all right, cool, but that was, y'all was both really powerful, and I'm hearing y'all was both fiery, y'all just had a lot of fire. You know, and y'all just speak up for yourselves, and that's just it. But you guys were meant that, you guys were strong, I'm hearing women. Right. So some of you guys, it was a strong woman that was a friend of yours, but the relationship got cut short because there was a third party friend that since they came in the and in, in came into both y'all lives, they started splitting up your friendship. And if you go back in time, you realize that that same person, since they came in, the two of y'all, y'all would never bounce back the way y'all used to. And you realize it was because of that person that didn't want the two of y'all to be friends. Because I feel like some of you guys are having, you're having a reconciliation with an old friend from the past that was down, I was mad loyal. And they have, they're mad strong. Their heart is that strong, the same way yours is. They have a lot of passion. And, but I feel like this person, they knew it was fishy stuff. And that's why they, they, they was out because they knew it wasn't on the up and up. And I feel like, you know what it is. They knew that it wasn't on the up and up. And I feel like it was after something crazy happened, but they knew more crazy things was getting ready to go down because they was the one doing it because they're divine feminine and they saw that in you. So I feel like this person, they already know you're divine feminine. They already support you. Because I feel like you might wonder if this person, because I feel like it was whatever, if something happened, somebody was trying to, somebody tried to split y'all up and it just worked. And I feel like this person, they know that whoever, what they know who it was that tried to split y'all up. They know. This person, they know shit. They just don't say shit. Or they say a lot of stuff, but they don't be saying certain things because they know that stuff. But I'm hearing, they're just like that. You know what I mean? But they know what's really going on. So this person, they know. They've been knowing. They've been felt it. It's been felt funny. That's why I'm hearing. That's why they backed out. That's why they backed away. Okay? Because you might notice that this person, they don't usually back down. And all of a sudden, since I'm hearing years ago, they started backing away. They don't back away unless it's like they need to come from the side. You know what I mean? So I feel like this person, they're not done. This person, they're not done with whoever this karmic was that infiltrated the connection. Don't worry about it. Because they know that these people did this. Listen, Leo, they know. They know because they're looking at the shutoutness and they're like, that's crazy. And since they were shut out, they had a lot of realizations. You know what I mean? They came to a lot of clarity. They realized what the problem was. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's what it was, you know? And so they're moving on from certain things, but they're kind of paranoid about reaching out. I feel like this person, they might've already reached out. You might be paranoid about answering, or you might not be sure because some of you guys, you might've really cut contact for your own protection. And I feel like that was what it was, but I feel like this person, they don't want to hurt you. They were coming to bring you the truth and to validate you, Leo. They were coming to validate you, but it's valid that you shut them down or it's valid that you didn't receive it because some of you guys, you blocked. You're like blocked or they're blocked for you. So you didn't receive it. It's, it wasn't the right time, but you guys are going to reconnect because this was reminding you of a friendship you had with somebody who was mad valid and I'm hearing mad down, mad down, but they got stabbed in the back and I'm hearing you protected them and they know that you did. So don't worry about it. Because they had to take time to understand it. They were getting gaslit so much. They didn't know all that stuff was going on behind their back. This person had no idea what was going on behind their back. They had no clue. You know, they couldn't see it. They couldn't see it. Even if they saw it, they couldn't see it. All right. We're going to talk more about this in the extended. If more comes up. All right. Okay. So I feel like this person, there's been a lot of things that this person was debilitating, deliberating about. I'm here debilitating. So there was things holding back this connection now that now is going to be expanding. Okay. And what it was, was a betrayal. So a betrayal is going to come to light. 
okay? A betrayal from a queen of swords that was stuck and trapped. And what this is that they're telling you is justice. Like, I feel like this person, you might know that what this was. Like, you might already have a feeling that this happened or you might know that this happened, but this person, they never came um, clean to you because they just didn't, they felt like it was their fault. Like, they kind of felt like they didn't want to involve you in it because they kind of, they're like, well, I went, I went towards that. This person's very grounded about certain things. So even if it's very emotional, they're an adult and they can understand, they understand chronologi chron chron chronological order and how dot, 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 eventually you're gonna hit this. Eventually you're gonna come here. And they knew that they were walking, but I hear, I'm hearing because they knew they averted danger, but I also feel like they got taken advantage of and you know that they did and you still wanna have their back anyway, Leo. So someone's gonna tell you something about how someone tried to trap them or someone tried to like, Hold the maximum try to split up the connection. I feel like there was somebody, some third party, some karmic, some two-faced karmic around them, some Gemini, okay? They were, first of all, there were some Gemini. They were trying to take advantage of this person. Some of you guys, this person was successful at taking advantage of your person. Some of you guys, they weren't successful at doing it. Um, but this person, they're going to open up to you about this because I feel like whatever this was, this is what caused them to end the long term. Whatever this was, this is what made them feel like, oh, that this didn't have long-term potential. This person, they worked really hard to break two of you guys up. And I feel like whatever this also was, I feel like this person, they were also struggling with being two-faced. Like they were struggling with, with living two lives and having two completely different truths. And they let go of one because they realized that one of them was mad toxic and it was like a display of power while the other one was how they really felt. You know what I mean? And they really are this powerful. So they don't need that extra stuff because that extra stuff was what was blocking the connection. It was, and they're validating how it was. But I feel like some of you Leos, you might actually see things from their perspective now, but they also see things from your perspective. And that's when you know that that it's, the cycle is ready to ascend, okay? Because this is not the kind of person that when they know that they're wrong, they will sit there and be like, oh yeah, you're wrong. They're not a narcissist. They can't even, they don't even like the way if, if a narcissist is eating or so whatever foods narcissists like this person don't like because they're that far away from, they don't even like what they eat. They don't even like the same food as them. They don't know how they like that, how narcissists eat that or how narcissists eat that much. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm hearing of this person. They're so, they're not. So if they know that, because I feel like I've dealt a lot with that, that was your path. And that's what's making it hard for you to move on and trust this person because you feel like they were the same. And I understand that, but this person, they're not the same. I'm hearing they're from a different generation. You know what I mean? This generation, they call each other out all the time. It's nothing. <laughs> or, you know, this generation, that's what they do. You know, or this person, whatever culture they're from, whatever, because this person, they're different from you. They're, or even this person has changed themselves. They're not, whatever. But they're, <clears throat> they've dropped one of those faces. And it's because they realize how the potential of that face was going to lead to a betrayal, a backstabbing, the ending of the connection. And they realize how that was keeping them stuck. So this person, they were once somebody who is very flighty in a way. And it was their comfort zone. I feel like whatever this was, Leo, you still love this about them. In fact, I feel like I'm hearing you thought that they looked beautiful. You found them very beautiful. And you still find them very beautiful or very handsome. But and, and you thought it was attractive that they were that way, but you realize how certain things that they would need for, to have that lifestyle would put them in a situation where they were like unsafe and they recognized it too. You know, certain associations that they had. I feel like it was, this was like a part of them that was very external or material, but it, it, had, it didn't have that as much material value as they thought it did. Or they're realizing that they didn't want to give it that much material value. They're changing their viewpoint about the day-to-day -day life and what it is that they want in the future. And it's because they realized how what they wanted in the future before was so limited and it was so stuck. And I'm hearing it came from their parents. It wasn't even from them. And, they, and they're, they're having realization and shedding that burden. So whatever it was that was keeping this connection trapped, <clears throat> maybe you were waiting because you felt like you didn't have enough money is what I'm hearing for this person. They don't care about that. I'm hearing any more. Okay, I feel like this person, they're so much more grounded. And I feel like this person, they always were grounded, but that's how the karmics was getting to them, you know, because they know that this person will build and work. They literally will build and work. They do build and work. So the karmics, they try to imp like plant in their dreams into their head so that they, the karmics can get it, but it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, the earth doesn't grow karmic seeds. Eh, 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 eh. It doesn't grow those. So they're recognizing how one dream that they had for the future, that's not the dream that they used to have or they, the dream that they really had or the dream that they have. I feel like it's more in alignment with the dream that you have now. And that's the reason why you guys are, I'm here reconnecting. So some of you guys, you haven't spoken to this person a little bit and you're going to hear from them and they're going to be telling you stuff about, you know, how they really feel and stuff that they were going through when they were away. Um, things that they learned out of being shut out from you or being shut out in general. You know, this person, they're com they're very mature. They're coming very mature and they're not trying to trap you. They're not trying to deceive you. They're opening up to you about something. I'm hearing like the R words, something that happened to them 
um, some sort of violation, someone who um, tried to take advantage of them or just feeling like they took advantage of you. Like you guys are gonna talk about a lot of things that this person, they previously hid behind a certain face and it, it was for the most grounded reasons. Like, I don't think this person really like really accepted that about themselves. I don't think they really believed like that much in like, I'm hearing the glittery glamour lifestyle, but they realized how certain things that they just liked ended up making them feel really desperate to get it, you know? And they can understand how certain things would have led them astray. And so they're recognizing you. They're recognizing your viewpoint. Like I'm hearing the, the way you choose to live is actually really amazing. And I feel like before you, you might've been trying to change the way you live, or you might've been wondering if the way you live was good enough for this person, or if they would be, you know, if you were overwhelmed with feeling like they might not like living the way you live or how you live or with you. And I feel like, first of all, that's the, that's the first burden. This person, they're going to love, I'm hearing they're going to love living with you, but this person, they do want to live with you. Okay. And, but I feel like before, if they ever resisted certain things about you, it's because of the, where they were brought up, but they were kind of indoctrinated in a way. And they had to like, peel that back and realize that that was stupid. You know what I mean? And that that wasn't worth all the stress. And that actually they were just trying to appease other people that didn't even want to appease them. But they had a real, this was really deep and intrinsic, very spiritual, very spiritual. Okay. And so now they're dropping that face and they're, and they're coming out and being more honest and pure, even though it could still seem a sort of way, but no, it's not. Okay. This person, they're not that way. Okay. They're very strong. They're not losing the characteristics about them that you love. Some of you guys are wondering, oh, they're going to, you know, stop doing, they're not going to stop doing that. It's just not going to be toxic. I feel like at a certain point, they will admit it to you. People around them will admit it to you. It was toxic. Whatever the, I'm hearing beauty culture, it was very toxic for them. And they recognize that, you know, they're confronting something that's been a big devil in this relationship, appearance, looks, stuff like that, and not embracing it and how that slowed down the connection too. Okay. And it sounds really materialistic, really shallow, but it's really true, but it's incestual. I also feel like money, I feel like this person there, they used to let like material things get in the way, like money stopped them. And I feel like they went back to when they were a child and money didn't stop them and they would still go out and get it even though there was little. And they were like, that's, that's facts. That's, I'm hearing violation, but that's facts because they realized that in the past they went out and got it anyways. Um, and they didn't need, you know, to have certain things that's, that slowed them down today. So they're, they're speeding up manifestations through embracing certain things about themselves. I definitely do believe, and I definitely do see. But I also see somebody who they're confronting certain people, certain characters. We're gonna look into a Queen of Cups type. There's something that they realize about a Queen of Cups in their life. You might already know this person, Leo. You might not know this person. This is somebody who has some ill will. We're gonna look into this person because I feel like they concluded a cycle around this person, and I feel like something happened to this person, and it was for your protection. You know, it was for their protection too. So I feel like they're recognizing something that may have happened to somebody as protection. But that character's coming up and they're gonna be talking about it in the near future. There's just a lot of things that this person, they weren't speaking of, okay? So they're confronting their fear of like lack of health, things not going. I feel like this person, they, they are overburdened with things not working out. Like I feel like this connection, it's so good that they constantly think that things are not gonna work out because it's just so good. And that just comes from, just being abused and, and and trapped and that's another thing they're gonna be opening up about uh, opening up about okay they're opening up about certain things that they hid behind a certain face they're also going about their life like this connection it feels like you know right now you're going through a heart chakra expansion so there's a lot of independence between the two of you guys and a lot of growth but a whole lot of love i mean this person they never they didn't know they loved you this much and i feel like they've always loved you this way they just didn't know they did and that's why sometimes you need to take time. That's why sometimes love takes time because you just don't know how much someone loves you or how much you love someone else until something happens. That's why sometimes you have to see things from a different perspective where a lot of time passes and then it just comes from underneath and unearths itself, you know? They have a lot of love for you, Leo. They do, they do, they can't shake it. But this person, they're confronting whatever it was that made them inconsistent, whatever it was that made them not see your value, and that's why they didn't keep showing up. They're confronting it because I feel like it really comes from a very deep place, narcissistic abuse. And I'm hearing this person, they're very creative, they're very spiritual, they're very emotional, and this really affected them. This really fucking impacted them. You know what I'm saying? Like when I get on y'all about certain things that y'all say and y'all write, you know what I'm saying? And I know, yeah, I say stuff, y'all be like, oh, well, da da da. Y'all love to flip stuff. At the end of the day, I know why I'm here, you know? And I know what I'm trying to do. And I know that there's people who have experienced the blessings. They, they're experiencing that growth. They're getting what I've been talking about because they just shut up and listen or they, whatever they put out, it was love. Even when they didn't feel love back, they, they check themselves. 
You know what I'm saying? They understood, they understand. And that's why they're growing. And I, that's why I keep doing it. You know, I don't do it for the naysayers. But that's why I get on people who make comments about creative people and who like to comment and criticize because those are the people who are not creative. And it's like, you're trying to rob creative people of their geniuses and you're bombing our countries. So I just want to let those people know because they often have a lot of crazy things that go on in their life. And for people like you, the reason why you do is because you're a narcissist. You steal from creative people. You steal from people who are passionate. You steal from people who have it. You don't give them credit. You criticize them. You pick them apart. And then you're surprised when your life isn't, you're not none the better for it, you know? And then you just go around your life flipping the script on everybody, but you're not even Drake's, so you don't even do it right. Or you go around starting stuff with people who they're still gonna make it anyways. Like Yahoo start stuff, it's like those people, it's like, it doesn't matter. They're still gonna have it anyways. And it, the same goes, cause I feel like y'all sit there and y'all get mad when I say stuff, but it's like the same way as like how y'all don't say stuff to the people who start stuff with, with other people and with me is the same way as like, the same way as how they shouldn't, that's the same way as it goes for them and it goes for you too. So when you're going through something and you're being upset and you feel like nobody has your back, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so when do you have other people's back? You know what I mean? I just feel like there's just so much that, you know, it's so in your, it's obvious. And that's, that's the study of the, that's certain studies. That's why certain people, they'll never be in certain groups that even though they want to be, or they want to act like they're in it for so they want to pretend like they're in it, but they're not in it. And the, and the answer to life, a lot of answers to life is mad simple. It's super simple. It's right in front of your fucking face. So that's why you can use certain little things and you can teach it a certain way. And I understand everybody doesn't want that. And I'm not gonna stress myself out about it anymore. At the end of the day, I'm an empress. Like I need to take care of myself and that's what I do and I'm abundant, but I just come through and I just want, I want everybody to be abundant. And I noticed that it's like certain things I had, I got a lot of stuff I wanted really early and it's cause I wanted that for everybody else. And that's why I have it. And I feel like it just goes to show, like it just goes to show Whatever someone has, that's because they wanted it for someone else or they wanted it for everybody else. They wanted it for most of the people in their life. That's why they have it. And that's why I go around and I talk about, but it's like, I understand that everybody doesn't believe that they're abundant. And some people, they wanna shut that down. They wanna shut down your creative gifts. They wanna shut down, they wanna tell you what to say. They wanna da, 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 da. And that's why I'm like, I'm not making time for y'all no more, but I'm just letting you guys know why I'm not gonna change no matter how hard you try. And it's like, it's still gonna grow. I'm still gonna make it. I'm still going where I said I was gonna go. I've always done it since I'm little. I've been doing it. And a lot of you bitches can't stand me because you see me make it. You see me start from here and go all the way up and you're mad because you tried everything to stop me, but I'm just showing you how to get it. I'm just showing you how I got it and what it is in the way that I learned. And you don't have to take it, but don't bring your hateful energy. Cause I feel like whatever this is, this just comes from somebody dealing with a lot of hateful energy. That's it. That's why they were showing up the way that they were showing up. They had a lot of hate criticizing them as a person. And so they started hiding parts of themselves. They became hella karmic because they were afraid of being who they were because they didn't like being picked on. They didn't like people throwing a bunch of shit on them. And I feel like if you knew what happened to this person, you know what happened to me, you would not say anything to me about me saying anything no more. That's, what, that's the reason why everybody's quiet. There's a reason why nobody's saying anything but two karmics. It's because everybody knows because either you went through it or you were there and you saw somebody else go through it and you have a heart. So I feel like this person, they went through something crazy. Someone didn't want them to be who they were. Someone wanted to silence all their gifts. Someone wanted to stop them from growing. Some, someone wanted to stop them from having it. And in a, in a way they succeeded at it for a few years. But now this person, because of the love that they have for you, they're coming out of that and they're getting what they want. So this has been taking time. If you felt like they were two-faced, that's why. Some of y'all was two-faced too. If that's your twin flame, don't talk about them like that. You know, I don't like that stuff. That's crazy. You know, I'd be getting it. Y'all, eh, I'd be getting it on y'all too because I'm like, but that's your twin flame. You talk about him like that. Like, but that's how, how you feel about yourself then. You know what I'm saying? Vibe. And this person, they're trying to come clean because I feel like in certain ways, they feel like they know that they owe you an apology but they know they have to express certain things and that's valid, but they had a really serious co codependency and they're recognizing it and acknowledging it. They're not only acknowledging it, but they're freeing themselves from it for you. So I feel like I'm here and be patient because I feel like whatever this is, is patient with it. I That's why life, life, you didn't need Drake, but you did. You needed him to flip, flip, yep. Yeah. Because the way it is, is like the way you tell others is the way that you learn. And that's something I learned mad young. 
you know? And I realized that there's a certain way I like being spoken to. And it's the way I speak. <laughs> That's why I speak because I like being spoken to this way. And I grow and I learn when it's this way, you know? And I feel like you have to like it. If you don't like, if you don't like what you're getting back, you know, if you don't like most things that you, that you're getting back, you don't like it. It's because most things that you're putting out, you don't like the most things that you're doing. And a lot of times it just comes from codependency. It comes from being indoctrinated. It comes from fear. It comes from upbringing, you know, that we're not doing the things that we really want to do. And so we're getting back things that we don't want. That's, I mean, it's kind of like you're planting corn seeds, but you wanted, you wanted Mayflowers, you wanted sunflowers and poppies. You know what I'm saying? And you planted corn seeds. You can't be mad when corn grows. You can't be mad if she grow the sunflowers. She planted the sunflower seeds. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like that's what it is. But I also feel like there's this energy, but I feel like for some of you guys, that's a little bit of what it was for you. It was like, you weren't planting certain seeds that you wanted, Leo. And it's not that you didn't have the talent and that you couldn't have got it because I feel like what it is, if you're, I'm hearing something about this Queen of Cups, you're getting it, okay? You're getting it, all right? Some of you guys, your, your person, they're Queen of Cups. Uh, whether they're male or female and you're getting them they're defending you but there's something coming up around this person with what I was just talking about so I feel like some of you guys you had a tendency where it's like you felt like whatever you couldn't get it but you really could it was just that you was around people that didn't want you to have it so they suppressed you and that those are all the things that you were having to look at while you were away from this person you had to confront things but so did this person and this reading it is a lot about how they're feeling and stuff but there is a lot it's just mirror dynamic you know, that it's like, be careful what you say, eh, careful how you respond because you look the same exact way. You know what I mean? And that's what, cause I'm like, Ooh, I see it twisting back on you. Be careful. You know, you know, have the compassion you want. Okay. In the past, they got some sort of wish come true. Something that they've been wanting to happen in this connection, something that they've been really focused on studying upon. They started having success in it. So whether this was just having a wish fulfilled in this connection, you know, getting to a certain place that they wanted to get to, to feeling about you. This person, they knew that they were kind of, they were in a place where they were struggling, but they didn't want to struggle. And they knew that they were overburdened with a lot of things. And that's why they were having a hard time seeing you, either, seeing, you either, seeing you as their divine masculine or seeing you as their divine feminine. And they knew that they needed to get to that place. And what that was was self-love. And once they got that cup of self-love, they realized why you were always worth holding on to. Cause I feel like this person, they always wondered why they held on to you. I feel like this person, they felt like they were codependent or they weren't well. And that's why they were holding this person. Yeah. They were really going through it. They thought it was because they were being abused again and they didn't know the signs once again. <laughs> um, but this person, they're understanding what it was that made them put them put themselves in those situations before. And it doesn't have anything, I'm hearing, it doesn't really have anything to do with ancestry or, or it, it does have to do with being codependent, but it just has to do with not seeing material change because you don't see value in the things that you do. So you don't see the change in it. You know, this is kind of a very insidious fear that was taught to them from a very young age by someone who obviously was supposed to love them. So there's a, there's this two-faced mask. They're dropping the two-facedness. They're coming to you much more real, 100%. And it's because whatever they were coming to you before, that was gonna end the relationship and they knew it. Okay, this person's intuitive and they could see the future. They got a premonition that your relationship was gonna end if they didn't stop being that way. And that's facts. And they might open up to you and tell you about this. It was crazy the way they got it because they got it during one of their episodes is what I'm hearing. You probably know what I'm talking about, one of their episodes. Um, and they realized why they should calm down and why they should understand why this is happening. But it took some time. They needed to get to this point, Leo. But like I said, we're gonna shift down to the extended. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Yeah, it's not my business. All right, we'll talk later. If you feel guided to come, come through. If you don't, stay where you're at. Don't bother me. Don't reach out to me about the extended either. There's a reason why you can't comment, whatever. I love you guys. I understand a lot of you guys. Yeah, I just want to reach out and say nice things. And I understand that. But I, I love you. There's a reason why I need to make it this way. You know, just the YouTube channel, that whatever. But I can do whatever I want anyway. You know, there's haters everywhere. There's haters. <laughs> there are. That's it. You connect. A lot of you guys are like, well, so why don't you listen when you have a big heart and you, and you connect and you're doing what you love to do, you're going to want to connect with people individually. So you're the idiot. You're the bus, right? That keeps running over your child's chance for success. As Jill Verte said on dance moms, because you're sitting here complaining. You're saying that you want people who care. You want readers who care. You want people who care. You want you people who help you who care. You get it. And you're like, why do you care so much? That's what you're telling me. Why do I care so much? So you're the fucking moron if you have a problem with me saying stuff that bother me because that just goes to show that I've, if people aren't saying stuff, if you're insulting people and not saying anything about it, it's because they don't care about you anyways, okay? So get that out of your head. 
You learned that in school. That's why you didn't like being in school. All right, we'll talk later. All right, bye. <laughs>